All right, so this video is going to walk you through creating uh, an email for your newsletter. And the way we're going to do that is we log in, and on this main page, we've got a marketing tab right here. So we're going to hit that. And once we're there, um, we're going to come over to email. And within this page, we've got a compose email button. Uh, we also have some templates if you want to do a new product announcement, something about holidays. Um, those are there for you. But we're just going to hit compose email. And it says, What kind of email will you be sending? Um, general emails, commerce related emails, announcements, and anything that you might have saved. Um, so these are just templates to start from. And we can pick something simple like this one right here. Select the opt-in layout. Template email so you ask content to subscribe to receive future emails. Um, so we're just gonna select that, that's fine. And so I selected it, I'm gonna hit continue. And we're gonna end up in this editor that's gonna let us um, customize the email. So if you come in here, you can test, you can just come in and highlight the text. So this is an opt-in email, so it's welcome to the email list. You indicate you want to receive our emails. Um, the important thing here is that you can compose these emails just like you do a blog post. Uh, let's see if you want to change this. There's a little gear icon, edit background. It's got color options. You can change it to anything you want whatever you're looking to do there. So obviously this is not the best looking email, but I just want to show you how, it's how you edit things. If you hit the button, options pop up. Basically, if you click on anything, options pop up and you can do what you need to do. And then logo up here, we're going to add a logo from the computer. Although I don't have a logo for you, so I'm just going to put this placeholder image pops up at the top. And you can see that's how you build the email. So once you have it the way you want, hit continue. You gotta put a subject line in. It doesn't matter what it is for this one. I'm not gonna send this out. <clears throat> this is your sender profile. So this is who it's gonna come from. And it looks like we can either edit that one or we can add a new one. Probably wanna do the Frank at Martinelli's, I think it is. Martinelli's.shop, I think is your email address, but whatever it might be, um, you know, you can fill this information in. Um, oops. So let's just say, all right, you'll, you'll have to do that yourself. You just add your information in and add a sender, and that's who it comes from. Hit continue. And then we've got send to all contacts. That's going to send it to anybody we have in your system at the moment. Right now, you only have three, but we're going to hopefully import your emails. Um, anybody that's opted in, which is people that explicitly ask for your emails, or you can make a custom list, and you can just select the ones that you want to send to. Those are the only three in there right now. And uh, that's probably all you're going to want to mess around with. Generally, you'll probably be doing the send to all contacts. And then the last step is just reviewing. And it's going to give you a couple things. We notice there's a, a missing link stuff like that, you can clean it up, and then you can preview it on different devices. So that's what it looks like on a computer. That's what it looks like on a phone. And if people get a text-only version, which nobody will. Um, and then when you're ready, you can do a send test. You can schedule for another time, or you can send it right away. I'm not gonna send this because it's not a real email. So I'm just gonna discard the whole thing. But those are the steps to sending an email uh, within Weebly. All right, I hope that helps. and. Um, Obviously, I'm here if you have any questions.